Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your March 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the month Virgo. So what do we have for Virgo please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Virgos, thank you. <clears throat> March 2021. That flew out. Lovely. We have the Three of Wands, Virgo, as your overarching energy. Okay, Angel's message for Virgo, thank you. Okay. We have It's Up To You. Now, the Three in Tarot is all about manifestation something beginning to happen the first signs so this can be about remember the ones is to do with action so again i feel that that's resonant in terms of it's up to you how you take action this month okay so i'm going to pull four cards roughly works out as one card per week though divine timing and all that the messages may well overlap and then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message, Virgo, as we always do, you know by now. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, message for Virgo, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Virgos, thank you. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups. Joni, that's a Cancer for me as a reader. Six of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. And we have the Two of Swords. <clears throat> so what do we have for Virgo, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Can we clarify the cards on the table, please? For our lovely Virgos, thank you. March 2021. Thank you. Knight of Swords. Three of Wands. Eight of Wands clarifies the Ace of Swords. And we have the Death card bottom of the deck we have the eight of cups okay so Virgo, we have the Three of Wands. So, and it's appearing twice in your reading. Generally, I mean, it happens quite a lot in my readings when angel spirits guides want to bring attention to cards that are duplicated because that's the key message for you. And it feels in this situation that this is about taking action to manifest a new vision, a new goal, a new dream. Um, and it's the first signs of something happening. This is something good coming your way. You're waiting patiently. You've taken action. There is the promise of growth here. Uh, such potential for success. This is the first signs of success as well. So it's a great card of beginning to see expansion, growth, positive things happening. First signs, you know, and just waiting patiently for it to come to you. It's not quite there yet, but the actions that you're taking means that you're getting the kind of like reward that you've been working towards. So it feels very beautiful. It's coming your way. Um, lovely, lovely energy, the Three of Wands. And that's why the message is, it's up to you. Remember, the Three of Wands, the Wands energy is all to do with your power, your action, your drive, your, your heart and soul energy, uh, your passion, your desire. You know, what you want to take action to bring growth. So it can be in terms of money and career, for example. It can be to do with... Um, 
you know, love. It can be to do with moving and um, overseas opportunities for some of you, you know, that kind of energy, because there are some travel cards here. So for some of you, maybe there are some kind of like overseas opportunities or taking action to, to move and bring change to your situation. But this is the first signs of success coming your way. Not quite there yet, but there are good, some good signals happening here. We have the Queen of Cups. She is somebody who is compassionate. She is somebody who is very connected to who she is. Um, bonds with people on a deep level. She's very much to do with the heart energy, emotions, feelings to do with the Cups. So, you know, this can be to do with love, romance, relationships, can also be somebody who is a kind, compassionate person, good listener, sometimes a motherly energy, though it is male or female energy, um, somebody who is just kind, considerate, you know, that kind of energy. I mean, you know, sometimes I see her in terms of money career as HR, you know, um, so that kind of energy, really. Um, the Knight of Swords is, it can be to do with a conversation, communication, messages coming in, a piece of information coming through, advice, you know, that kind of thing. So it could be somebody giving you advice that brings change, get brings you clarity to how you need to move forward. Um, could be some news to do with some kind of opportunity. Um, could be in terms of love romance relationships you know in terms of like love romance relationships the the six of coins sometimes has more of a commercial effect yeah a commercial meaning so it can be to do with not having enough um it's a card of charity i mean it can be a card of giving and receiving as well but it feels in this situation for some of you It can be to do with charity, giving and receiving. Um, I mean, the idea is, you know, the scales balance here. You don't give more than you receive and you don't receive more than you give, you know, that kind of energy. I mean, that could be in terms of, uh, but it can be a card of breadcrumb energy. Um, yeah, not having enough. And it can be in terms of money, career, finances, needing to ask people for help, you know, needing to ask for charity. And the three of wands is a card of doing something about it, you know, taking action to manifest a new path because you're feeling that of, of, it's a, there's a kind of feeling here of not having enough. Um, and it feels to, to, it feels more to do with money, career, finances, I have to say in this, these cards, Virgo. Um, the three of wands is the beginnings of manifesting, taking action. Um, and you can see the ship is coming in. So there's definitely something good by the actions that you're taking. I mean, this is a card of growth, first signs of success. It feels like you're wanting to turn around money, career, finances. I feel somebody is influential in guiding you or giving you some news or having some kind of conversation with you that is inspiring you to take action, to manifest a new path here. And here we have conversations, conversations bringing swift change. So news, incoming news, swift incoming news, conversations bringing change to your world. Now this can be a card of travel as well, can also be online for me as a reader. So online conversations, connections, opportunity, um, can be to do with the sh bringing a shift to your circumstances. And we have the victory card here, victory and success. So for some of you, there is swift change. I'm definitely seeing around third week by the actions that you're taking, something good is coming your way. And then definitely by third week-ish, I definitely see some kind of shift coming your way here. The Two of Swords can be a card of feeling stuck, can be a card of waiting for something to, you know, waiting for clarity. So, you know, there's definitely some kind of new beginning, new opportunity opening up for you. I mean, this can also be you making up your mind on a situation, getting clarity in how you need to move forward, 
how you're taking action, uh, the conversations you need to have, that kind of thing as well, Virgo. Um, and the Two of Swords is can be a card of, of feeling stuck or not having clarity. can also be about making some kind of difficult decision and giving yourself time and space to do that. But it's followed by the Death card, which is a card of endings. So deciding, and again with this Eight of Cups, it can be a card of walking away. But, you know, the ending is the transformational card of emerging in your light once more. It's the Phoenix Rising card, rising from the ashes of the old, purging the old in order to herald the new in. And we know the new is coming your way here. The new comes around third week in this reading. So it definitely feels for some of you that it will give you an opportunity to walk away from something that has been disappointing, that has been where you felt some lack in some way shape or form because there's a missing cup here so didn't quite hit the mark in terms of being fulfilling you know that kind of energy so for some of you I mean that could be in terms of getting clarity in terms of walking away from a relationship not feeling that it's enough some of you it could well be walking away because the the opportunity for maybe a new job is coming um, and you're therefore walking away, rising in your own light once more, purging the old, out with the old, in with the new. So it, it definitely feels for some of you, I mean, obviously apply it to your own circumstances, but it feels for some of you, there is the big shift and the victory, the success, the new beginning that is given to you by God, the divine, the universe. Absolutely beautiful energy, very much connected with your destiny, coming around the third week here. And that is allowing you to bring an end to a feel, this feeling of, of not having enough, whether it's to do with a relationship, whether it's to do with, um, you know, your circumstances could be where you live, um, could be to do with your job, you know, that kind of energy, Virgo. But it definitely feels for some of you there is some kind of change coming your way. The message is, it's up, up to you. The actions that you take will have profound, ch will bring profound change this month. And that's what you're being told. And again, maybe some kind of moving, distance, um, you know, uh, overseas opportunities for some of you. It won't be for everybody, but I definitely see that in the cards too. Okay, so final message for Virgo, please. Final message for Virgo. Nice, we have go outside. It's time to go outside. Tune into the powerful piece of nature wherever you are and feel at one with your habitat. Lovely energy. I'm going to pull one more Virgo. That can be a quite a grounding energy for those of you who need to be grounded. Thank you. And yeah, you see, you definitely feel some kind of material aspect to this reading. Abundance. Prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release any mental blocks you may have in fairyland and human land. There is enough abundance for everyone. And here we have the feeling of, of not having enough, you know, could be in terms of money, career, finances, um, and doing something about it here. Very empowered energy, the three of wands. And this is a card of you know, there is no lack, you know, you feel fulfilled, feeling fulfilled, being showered with abundance. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, for some of you, I mean, abundance can also, you know, mean just feeling happy and content in your own right, you know, so if you're choosing to walk away from other areas of your life, things that haven't lived up, lived up to hope or expectation, there is absolutely abundance coming your way. Yeah, lovely energy, Virgo. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.